Welcome back, everyone. It's a beautiful fall day in Colorado, and I am looking out at the trees as they change color and just reminds me that the end of the year is coming soon. I love the fall. I'm not real partial to winter, so hopefully this holds out a little bit. I like our little extended fall. Today is Tip Tuesday, and I'm Shortcut Sherry. Today, I would like to make your job easier by helping you manage your tasks. We're going to start a new series on how to manage tasks using the tools in Office 365. Most people are still dependent on their Outlook like I am. I don't have a lot of external contacts where I get to collaborate internally. So I still eat, sleep, live, and breathe in my Outlook inbox. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at how you can manage your tasks in Outlook. I do have an entire playlist of how to manage your inbox in my Shortcut Cherry series on YouTube. You can check that one out, but we're gonna start this one that's specifically on task management. So you have items in your inbox. Usually people are asking you to do something or they need you to reply or you've got a phone call you've gotta make. How do we keep track of those tasks? Most people use their email and Outlook. That's what we know it for. Almost everybody uses their calendar because we can't get around any kind of scheduling without a calendar. They forget that there are contacts and there are tasks in Outlook as well. If I were to go to my task list, I see the items that have been added as tasks. What about my to-do list? Those look like they're redundant. So what's the difference between the two? Let me show you. As you're going through your email, let's say you're identifying things you need to get done today. Instead of doing them one by one, I would encourage you to triage your email first and mark those items that are a task that you need to get done. If I go to this email from Alex, it says our spring blog update. All right, I need to do that. So I'm just gonna click it and mark it as a flagged item. Same thing with the payroll update. Just glancing at some of these subject lines may tell you it's something you need to get done. Sometimes you have to select the email and look at what the content is and then flag it. That's great, that puts it on my to-do list. If I go back to my tasks now, you can see the emails have now been added to my to-do list. My tasks are my tasks. My to-do list gathers up all those emails that I've flagged. Now this is great, but how do I prioritize those tasks? Instead of just selecting the flag, if you right click the flag and choose the time frame, let's say I need to do this one today, which is the default. This one I need to do tomorrow. Maybe this one is next week. And maybe this one I need to get done next Friday, a specific day. So I'm gonna add a custom date for that one and put next Friday and maybe even give myself a reminder that I need to get that done. It's kind of important and it's time sensitive and I need to get it done by the end of next week. Let's go look at our task list now. On my to-do list, it's now divided by today, tomorrow, and next week. And what's beautiful about Outlook is it tracks when tomorrow becomes today, when today becomes yesterday and my stuff's overdue, and when next week becomes this week. It keeps track of all of that for me and lets me know when I have things that are overdue. So the to-do list is key when you're working with your tasks in Outlook, and I encourage you to use those. Some people forget to go look at their to-do list. So I'm gonna give you one more little tip before I sign off for this session. If you go to your view menu and select under the layout group, to-do bar, and select tasks, that puts your task list on your main page, so you will always see the tasks that you need to work on there. How cool is that? So that's my tip for today. Flag your emails in your inbox, and it'll add it to your to-do list. I'll see you next week when I share you the next tip in this series for task management. Until then, I'm Shortcut Sherry, and it's my job to make your job easier. 
Guess what? In-person events are back, and I'm going to be in Las Vegas on December 7th through 9th, and I'm speaking this year at the Microsoft 365 Collaboration Conference. Would love for you to join me, and you can even save $50 if you register using the discount code of my last name, Oswald. We'll see you there. Oh, <laughs>